Now, isn't this supremely ironic that those who most publicly confess to being followers of Jesus, the Christians today, are mostly not following the faith of Jesus and his original disciples themselves? People who are, though, following that original understanding um, are, of course, Muslims, because unlike Jews, Muslims still do accept Jesus as a prophet, as the, the promised Messiah. And Jews, unfortunately, uh, do not. So, so one could argue the only people today who are authentically following the real Jesus, the Jesus of history, are Muslims. And one, I think one should add, those Christians, and they do exist in, in large numbers, who also accept that Jesus was a prophet and Messiah. Now, Unitarian Christians obviously do that. But also, I've discovered many priests and even bishops in the mainline churches. I'm thinking of, say, the Church of England and some other churches, like the Methodist Church, actually privately also believe that too, that Jesus was only a prophet and uh, and if they believe he is a son of God, it's in a metaphorical sense. It's not meant literally as a metaphysical, actual God begetting a son. Now, that's criticized, of course, in the 112th Surah of the Quran in, in an extraordinary piece of precision theology. It lasers in to the Council of Nicaea, which uses this language of the son begotten of the father. And it, it directly refutes that and affirms um the original belief of, of the, the, the Jews themselves. So the, the Quran is very much uh, endorsing the Tawheed of Jewish monotheism, as we see in, uh, in, in the Torah, for example. So um, that's the end of, of um, this video. Just to conclude, 